Hey everybody, this is Gregory from Dapp University. So in this video, I wanna show you how to build a blockchain wallet in 10 minutes. All right, so before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and click the like button down below. And as always, if you wanna learn how to become a highly paid blockchain developer, you need to join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. In order to get started fast, I'm gonna use my special blockchain starter kit so that we don't have to write a bunch of code ourselves. So I'm gonna copy this link, and I'm gonna clone the project like this. I'll say git clone, paste in the URL, and I'll give our project a name. That'll be uh, instant wallet. Now I'll go inside the project and I will uh, install a dependency. I'll install the open Zeppelin library like this. We'll save it. All right, now that worked, I'm going to open the project in my text editor. In this case, that's sublime text like this. All right, inside of here, I'm gonna go to find the contracts directory inside of source contracts. And I'm gonna create a new file right here. And I'm gonna call this dap token. All right, inside of here, I'm going to actually create our new token. So I'll start with uh, pragma, solidity, 0.5.0. And go ahead and create our contract, call this contract dap token. And we're going to actually inherit from the open zep lamentable token, just like this. I'll import the open zep lamentable token into the smart contract like this. We'll say dap token is ERC20 mintable. And we'll go ahead and give our token a name. String name equals dap token. And a symbol. All right. Now we want to create a constructor that gets run whenever we deploy the smart contract. In this case, we're going to mint tokens for the deployer. So wait, MSG sender. And we'll uh, do 1 million tokens. One, one, two, three, four, five, six times 10 to the 18. All right, there we go. There's our smart contract. And now it's time to put our smart contract on the network. So we'll pull up Ganache. This is our uh, personal blockchain. So make sure you have Ganache running. And I'm going to deploy the smart contract to this network. We already have it wired up inside of our truffle-config file, right? Localhost port 7545. So we can migrate the smart contract like this. We'll just say truffle migrate. And actually, before we do that, we need to create a migration. So go to your migrations directory, find the initial migration, copy the code, new file, and say uh, deploy contracts. Just make sure you use the number two here. And we're gonna change every word migrations to dap token. All right, save that. And now we can run truffle migrate, all right. Oops, and it looks like I had a little syntax error here in the token. So let's say pragma solidity truffle migrate. All right, it worked. All right, now let's go ahead and build the, the client side application for this wallet. Okay, we can do that like this. Let's say npm run start, start the web server, okay. And that should open up a web page like this. So we can see our boilerplate code inside of here. We can go ahead and change this. We'll just call this, uh, let's see here, components. Go to app.js. We'll rename this to uh, dap token. All right, let's just save that. See if our code changes work. All right, dap token wallet. And we can clear out all this extra code. So everything inside of main, we'll go ahead and uh, clear that out. And we'll move this. All right, there we go. Now we're ready to start building stuff inside of here. Now inside of AppJS, the first thing we wanna do is connect our application to the blockchain. So we need the Web3 library to do that. All right, so paste in Web3. And now what we wanna do is actually, you know, wire up the blockchain connection inside this component. We'll create our Web3 connection inside this component will mount function. This is a special function that comes with all React components. So I'll create the new Web3 connection like this. We'll just create a new Web3 instance from the current provider that's attached to the window, all right? So now I'm going to uh, set some defaults for this component, right? We want the account, the uh, ABI for the smart contract, and the address for the token as well. And we're gonna show all that information on the page. So I'm gonna create these values inside the application state like this. So we can use the constructor for this React component and say, say this.state equals this object, and we'll say account equals blank. We'll fill that in a second. It's the ABI, we'll fill that in as well. And then also the address for the token, balance, and the network ID. All right, so now let's fill some of these values in. Let's get the account from Ganache first. This is gonna be the account that we're connected to the blockchain with, all right? So I'll copy this, put it in here. We've got the ABI for the smart contract. So go to ABIs and go to DAP token. All right, we'll find the ABI key here and minimize it. I'm gonna select this and I'm actually gonna minify it inside my text editor like this. Minify, all right, and I'm gonna copy it. Go to app.js, paste in the ABI. Boom, there we go. 
All right. Now we we'll get the address for that. So go back to the DAP token file and find, uh, let's see here, networks 5777. Here's the address. All right. Copy it like this. We'll paste it in like this. And there we go. Now I'm going to wire up the token smart contract with Web3. I'll say const DAP token. And we're going to assign this to window.ethereum.contract. And we'll pass in this.state ABI and then this.state uh, address. All right, so that should create an instance of the DAP token. And we're going to say this.setState. And we'll pass in DAP token. And next, we're going to get the balance. All right, so we say const balance equals await DAP token uh, methods and then balance of. Say this dot account and then call. All right. So now that should give us all the information we need. We can also update that here like this. Say this dot set state balance two string. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, list out the balance of this account on the page. All right. So now we can list out the balance like this. We'll say H2. All right. And we'll say uh, my balance uh, is going to equal window dot web three dot utils from way let's say this dot state balance to string all right let's go ahead and refresh the browser and see what happens all right there we go we can see our balance is listed on the page let's go ahead and uh, make this smaller so it looks like an actual wallet interface okay like this so the next thing we want to do is actually create a form so that users can send tokens right now they can see how many tokens are in their wallet but now we want to send them to other people so let's go ahead and do that all right, the first thing we're going to do is create a form um, to do that. So I've just created a basic bootstrap form here, right, with two inputs, all right, and each uh, value is the recipient, the person we want to send it to, and then the amount, all right. So I'll go ahead and refresh the page and look at that in our browser. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on the same line. I'll take this. All right, that looks better. So what we want to do is uh, wire this up to when we put the recipient in here, the shipping address, and then the amount of tokens, and click send. It's going to send that to that person. Okay. So all we have to do is wire up this on submit handler for the form to actually use the smart contract to send the tokens. Okay. So we'll do that like this. First, we'll prevent the default behavior when we submit the form. Then we'll say const uh, recipient equals this dot recipient value, and then we'll say uh, const amount equals window.web3 utils from or two way and then this dot amount value to string and then ether and then next we say this dot transfer and then recipient and then amount okay so now we actually need to create this function which we'll do right now we'll go up here and we'll say transfer we'll pass in the recipient and then amount and then inside of this function, we're going to just interact with the smart contract to actually perform the transfer function. So we'll say this.state.dap token. All right. And we'll say methods uh, transfer and then recipient amount and send from this state account. All right, let's save that, refresh the page, and see if it works. Go back to our browser. Let's find a new recipient. We'll go to uh, Ganache, copy this, paste in the recipient, put in the amount, say 100 tokens, click send tokens. We see the uh, MetaMask confirmation pop up. Click confirm. All right, now let's refresh the page. And boom, there we go. We can see the balance was deducted from this account, right? The balance is less. So this uh, recipient actually received the tokens. All right, guys. So that is how you build a wallet instantly, a new blockchain wallet really fast with the DAP University Starter Kit with Web3.js, Truffle, Ethereum smart contracts. That shows you how easy it is to create your own cryptocurrency and wallet for your new users. As always, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Click the like button down below. And if you want to learn how to become a highly paid blockchain developer, you need to join my free training my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.